after Rocky Mountain Pro charged and all the exciting mile high events. It's time to get wicked smart and watch the dudes and belts break it all down on our weekly recap show, Recharged. Coming in hot every week, the Coastal Crusader, referee Maki Pins, and the Encyclopedia Lucas Bradwell go for the ride with host Johnny Deathdrop as we analyze and speculate on all the great Rocky Mountain action. Tune in each week on Twitch. Yes. All right, boys. Tag team match here. Smoke and Mirrors going up against Big Vito and Turbo Tony. Your thoughts on this match and what happened towards the end of this match and why you think that Smoke and Mirrors was not too happy with the victory, even though it is a, a win. A win is a win in this division. Mark, you said about five, uh, not five minutes, two seconds ago. Yeah, well, just like I had said a little bit ago, I mean, they, they wanted a piece of Vito because of what he has caused in this division over the last month or so. It's just been nothing but him, like, ruining matches, you know, just absolutely doing whatever he wants in a tag team division. He, ha- he doesn't have a partner, and no one's going to want to be his partner. So pretty much due to his inability to process his feelings correctly, he has blown not one, but two tag team title opportunities now at this point. Because he just can't seem to get over the fact that people have something wrong with him. Like, he, he just goes from one person he's mad at to the next person to the next person. And if you tell him, hey, man, like, you're, you're kind of throwing stuff away, he turns on you. It's like I said earlier, Marky, there's a certain way you have to talk to people like this because, like I said earlier, he's got a bunch of ingredients up there that can make a wonderful meal, but no rest. <laughs> right. right. Like, there's definitely a screw or two or the entire bag of screws is missing. I don't know one way or the other, but here's another thing that I look at. When I try to look at why you would do this, if you're, if, if you're Mount Vito, if you're Big Ben Vito, why would you be doing this? Okay, you've spoiled an opportunity to be the number one contender for the tag team championships. You've spoiled another opportunity to beat a team that up till very recently was in line for another tag team shot. Hopefully that continues to pan out for Smoke and Mirrors. And this win on charge last week really, really helps that. I wonder if he couldn't care less about tag team wrestling. I wonder if he couldn't care less about absolutely anybody else i wonder if this whole thing is to just show one person one authority figure one member of the law in the back how ruthless despicable and to whatever length that he would go to it's the only theory that fits the facts he's turned on eric reyes he's turned on turbo tony who they were tight for a little while they had that like singles match and Tony was out there helping him against uh, when it was Boss and Vito and Atiba was out and then they mm. nutshotted both of them too. Like it looked like Tony and Vito were going to be on the same page. Then we saw what happened at Supercharged and then Vito just turns into a big thing, a silly putty. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if the whole design is to get himself noticed in a singles capacity because at this point he's leaving everybody else out to dry and Smoke and Mirrors takes advantage of the situation. Like you said at the end, Mick Diamond in the chat right here, right now, he was pissed at Tony and that he's making a lot of enemies in the locker room and it makes complete sense. But if you only care about yourself, Lucas, you couldn't care less about what anybody else is thinking of you. If you have your own design on how to get to the top of the ladder, it almost seems like, at least to a rationally thinking person, that that's all Vito's design is, to just somehow get to the top of that ladder. What do you think? I hope he's not getting Preston's attention. If you're talking about law. No. It's not who I was speaking. I know. Yeah. I was I was hoping you weren't. No. Uh, to, uh Ben Vito, he it's not in his personality for anybody to to get for anybody to like him. He's not he's not trying to make friends, and I don't believe that he's capable of making friends. Like his personality is not somebody that you can get along with like for me, turbo Tony, I think approached Ben Vito the, the right way, to be honest with mm-hmm. you. I don't think, I don't think kissing Ben Vito's ass or, 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 you know, trying to, to, you know, come at him a little bit softer would have, would have done any bit of good, you know, 
Eric Reyes is a, a pretty, you know, laid back guy and Vito decided he could, didn't want a team with him. So, you know, I think Turbo Tony took the right approach and like, like look, I don't care how big you are. You're not going to intimidate me. I'm going to put you in your place. Now, obviously that didn't work either, but now Turbo Tony knows exactly where he stands with Ben Vito mm-hmm. and they can move on or they can, or they can hash out their, their issues, whatever. But uh, I, I think that was the right approach. And for smoke and mirrors, I, th- I also think part of the frustration is this. They've been trying to get back in into uh, having another shot at the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team titles for a long time. And, you know, to have a clean victory that's not controversial, I think would have helped their cause a little bit better than having this, the way that it went down in this way. I think, and I'm not saying it tarnishes uh, that victory, but I think it, it you know, maybe if you're D'Lo Brown, it puts a little asterisk on it. It handicaps so, it, basically. Um, it, it, it did. And so I think that's, um, that's probably some frustration for Smoke and Mirrors. They would have liked to have a clean victory, not only, you know, to get a little measure of revenge on Vito, but just to have a, a, a concise victory that no one, uh, no one can, you know, come back and say, well... But Vito walked on on his partner, beat his partner up, and you guys had a two-on-one handicap. I think they would have rather had a just a clear and concise victory, and that way that bodes better for their chance to get back into the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team picture. A win is a win, and that, and that gives them a little bit of momentum considering this division is getting pretty competitive. So... Hopefully they can they can take what they got out of this match, even though granted it ended up being a two on one at the end of it. A win is a win, and that kind of keeps the train going into the next week, and then the next week, and who knows? Maybe eventually these guys will finally get their rematch that they so desperately deserve. Hey, they want it. Chopper City's willing to give it to them. Mm-hmm. They've said it that it's fair. It would be down the middle. It would be fair. Only time will tell. That's right.